Good morning from a very rainy Hands Creek. So we've had another rain. It's still raining now, but we've had about a half inch of rain overnight. It is 7:41 on the 24th of January 2019. So recently, I asked uh, DEP to do a stop work order on Mount Valley Pipeline, especially during this rainy weather, because they continue to uh, spew mud and sediment into our streams. And I got a letter, yeah, a certified, a certified letter yesterday saying that there was no need to stop work because uh, MVP had mitigated all the damage and everything had been complained about had been fixed. And so this is what the fix looks like. This is um, Ann's Branch coming into Hands Creek. We have photoed photo this many, many times. Uh, so this is DEP's uh, fix of all the mud and sediment that comes into the MVP road, off the MVP road, the access road, so goes there, heading to Indian Creek, heading down to parts of Benown, and so, like I said, so it's raining, we've had about a half an inch of rain, as I said, so far, uh, you see some flashing lights, that's the Hands Creek Road, right straight across from Access Road 220 and the MVP Row itself crosses that hollow about a half a mile up the valley and I know it's very foggy but that's what you get with rain MVP and DEP are neither one concerned about our water Good morning from 3767 on Cooks Run Road. It is 8.25 a.m. on the 24th of January 2019. I was on the way to the nearest Hands Creek to look at some sediment erosion problems, maybe. I noticed the Cooks Run was very muddy, and uh, so the stream over there is not too bad. Uh, but you see the muddy stream, Cooks Run. It's impacted by the entire top of the mountain is the pipeline route coming up from um, uh, Hands Creek going on towards, you know, across the Indian Creek to Hands Creek heading toward Linside and the Nares of Hands Creek is right over there. So another impact from MVP most likely. Welcome to the Nares of Hands Creek on this rainy morning. I think it's a 20, it's Thursday morning, uh, 24th of January I think. So new occurrence here are mud springs. These that don't occur have never occurred here before, and they're most likely, almost definitely caused by mud and sediment coming off the MVP row over there, coming through the rocks and depositing mud as it comes up as a spring. These are mud springs. Uh, new occurrence here in the Nares Hands Creek. Over there is the MVP row. Standing in the Nares Hands Creek, below the right at the creek level. This is what the MVP calls as fixing a problem. The water still continues to run around the silt fence. It continues to run under the bridge, off light, off site there, into the creek. Not fixed yet. It's the 24th of uh, January 2019, and it's about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm down along the creek and this is the Simpson Springs. I found a mud spring down here. The spring is not as murky as it has been. I haven't had a great deal of rain though. It's still, so that's not too bad compared to what it has been. Still a little murky. I'd say it'll get worse. But that's just my opinion. And there's a little blue flag. There's a mud spring down here beside the spring. It's the uh, 24th of January, 2018, a little after 9 o'clock in the morning. So it's the uh, 24th of January, 2019. It's about 10:13 in the morning. I'm standing on my property just below the Hellas Ridge Road crossing. Stream not impacted by the very much. It's clear. 
the stream that is impacted by the crossing and it's impacted on this side and impacted this side it is very muddy. Um, you can see the sediment plume and you throw it here and you see that. End of that video today. Still bringing mud off the MVP road. So here's another video standing right below the MVP road. And you look down here and you actually have muddy water seeping out of the ground. This is groundwater that should be seeping out pretty clear. And it's just seeping out of the ground muddy. Now there's some clear water there. Very, very muddy water over that way. You can actually see it seeping out of the ground down here. Very muddy seeping out of the ground on that way. It is uh, January 24th, 2019, 1.15 in the afternoon. I'm on the Dargo property. And um, so I've been down to the pond, and two, both these ponds are very muddy. The uh, little pond is really, really muddy. This is the stream, that way is the pond. This is the stream that runs back up toward the row. I found this spring here. This is new. It's, it's muddy. So over here is a, the muddy stream. And off to my right goes up to the uh, silt fence area. It's been feeling so bad. It's not as bad as it has been. This other stream here goes up to the left and goes up to what I've been reporting lately as um, a very muddy area. There's a long row of work area up there just at the top of the ridge uh, there's a spring up here that I found it was just, it was uh, muddy last time I was up here a few days ago so it continues to uh, seep well it's not seeping it's it's throwing up or puking this mud and sediment out of the MVP row and uh, DEP taught, had, enough, had the audacity to tell me that all problems have been mitigated don't think so so it's the 24th, January 2019, a little after one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, this would be the left fork of the Dargo Holler, heading back up to the row. There's no silt fence up there except for a couple of small places. Right up there is one. Right up there is one. There's nothing up there. That whole area is an alternate work area up there, and as I've documented many times in the last few weeks. Still just throwing it out in muddy water. So let's go on and check out some other things. So it's uh, January 24th, 2019. Uh, it's a little after one o'clock in the afternoon. So I've walked up the Dargo Holler and right over there is the left fork of the stream coming out of his holler. And right there is the right fork heading to the silt fence. And here's a spring that I found a few days ago running turbot and the uh, MVP row is right up there in the woods top of the bank there and um, so this is uh, MVP dirt getting into the groundwater here on the Ellison's Ridge at the base of Ellison's Ridge near Hands Creek. So it's uh, 129 on January 24th 2019 I'm at the uh, Dargo silt fence. There's a spring up there. We're calling that the Boland Spring. It's right behind the old Cal Whitten house. The Boland zone now. Water's running down through there. Um, I'd say earlier it had been a lot worse, but I couldn't get up here early this morning. And so what you see here is the silt fence that continues to fail. They haven't touched it in weeks. I've videoed it several times. So they got water flowing through there. Uh, secondary filt fits up there. I guess that's not a problem because it's still on their LOD. It can do anywhere they want. But it comes here. And this pole still laying over. They haven't touched it. And you can still see water just pouring out from under the fence. Just pouring under the fence there. Okay, so uh, Water has come under this, uh, under this fence um, 
but it's still coming around here going through that opening between the fences and it's uh, coming out here so DEP says that uh, they're not going to stop work because all their complaints have been mitigated that was the letter yesterday and they ain't mitigate a well they ain't mitigate nothing they haven't touched this fence they've been burying pipe uh, they don't care about our water at all and apparently the people that are the head of DEP don't either so um, with that in mind DEP people need to contact DEP and ask them to stop work on the MVP in West Virginia or we'll have no water left it is uh, January 24th 2019 I'm standing on the bowling silt fence. Uh, the, well, actually, it's a cow wedding cabin up there. The bowling zone. This, this is what we call the bowling spring. This is the spring that MVP failed to re, uh, report to FERC in their EIS. It's a very obvious spring. You can see water running here, water running there. They uh, plowed through this all summer. Uh, we complained about it. Did no good. They buried the pipe in here not too long ago. Um, water pouring out over here. See what kind of flow this spring has. Very obvious the spring. That's how much water poured out of this thing, and they didn't, they failed to report it. It's not incompetence, it's criminal. And it goes downstream. So from the Bowling Spring on the MVP route in Monroe County, it is now One thirty, one thirty-six on uh, January twenty-fourth, and that's it for this video. Looking at this uh, little pond here, it's uh, just now. This is the first time I've seen it impact like this. I've never seen this spring little pond like this, other than when cows were in it years ago. No cows here. And uh, I was here a few days ago, it was pretty clear. Uh, it's been clear this whole time, but the sediment has gotten into the groundwater. And I suspect it's impacting this pond now too. The MVP row is way up there. But like I said, but prior to today, uh, I had not seen this being impacted at all. Sorry for the bouncing around. So uh, it is. 143 January 24th 2019 I'm on the dark Dargo property and that's more damage from the MPP I suspect um, 